Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you the Google Forms quiz settings that you need to know. Google Forms has been updated this fall, so I thought it'd be important to make an updated video about how to change the settings. So first of all, let's go ahead and make our blank quiz here in Google Forms. And it doesn't really matter what we have this quiz be about. It can just be fun and random trivia. And so we'll call this one fun and random trivia. And let's just put in one question for it now and say, you know, what is the tallest mountain in New England? And let's take a look here. And you can see there's a the correct answer. But let's also do Mount Adams. And Mount Katahdin. And Mount Jefferson. All right. So now, typically, what you would do is just go into your answer key and set your answer selection there and put in your point value. I'm going to change it to five points. Now, we can also add some answer feedback and that is the same as it's always been in Google Forms quizzes and I can say oh, that's not it hint it's named after the first president of the United States And so there's my answer feedback for incorrect answers. That's the same as it's always been. But let's go into settings now. And because I had chosen to create a blank quiz, it automatically toggled over to make this a quiz. Let's look at our grades. And we're going to say immediately after submission or later after I've manually reviewed. And if I do that, it's going to automatically collect email addresses. Now here I have missed questions and these are the things that students will be able to see when I release the grades to them. So if they're released immediately, they'll see this information immediately. If I have it later after manual review, they'll still see this information after manual review unless I turn these options off, in which case they won't see their missed questions, the correct answers, or their point values. Now, in this case here, I'm going to leave those turned on. I'm going to leave it set for immediately after submission. Now, I've also set here a default question point value so that every new question in my quiz will automatically have five points as its value. You could also change it to 10 or you can make it worth 100 points per question. It doesn't really matter what your point value is. Point is that you can set that default point value so that you don't forget to give points to a question in your quiz. Well, let's take a look at the response settings. I have collect email addresses turned on. And I'm not going to send responders a copy of their response. Or I could say always or when students request it. I'm going to leave that one turned off. And I'm not going to allow response editing. I just want students to try this one time. And this here is restricted to just users within my domain. And I'm going to limit them to just one response while they're signed in to their Google account. So they're going to have to sign into their Google account to take this quiz. Now down here in the presentation option, you can show students a progress bar. We can shuffle our question order. It's important to note about this option. If you select shuffle question order and you are using a Google Forms add-on that relies on questions being in the same order all the time, this option will break that add-on. I like to use this option so that 
all of my students get the questions presented to them in a slightly different order. And I also like to change the confirmation message from the default of your, your response has been recorded to something like, thanks for taking the quiz. If you have finished early, please take out your independent reading book. In other words, I like to give my students a prompt of something to do when they have finished the quiz. Now here, they're not going to have the option to submit another response because up here, I've limited them to just one response. I'm not going to show them how the whole class has done. So I'm gonna turn off the view results summary. And you can see here, if I want students to take the quiz in one setting, meaning they have to do it all at once, I'm going to disable auto save for all respondents. And this will sh show me that they will lose their progress if they close their browser or refresh their browser in the middle of the quiz. Otherwise, it will automatically save their progress for up to 30 days as long as they are signed into their Google accounts when they start the quiz. And finally, let's look at our de form defaults. So you can say by default, every new form that you create is going to collect email addresses. And you can say that every question will be required by default as well. So that's an overview of the settings that are available in Google Forms quizzes. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.